what's up it's Osun and Jax here and today I'm doing my video room tour once again just showing you guys what I just got for my upcoming update for the end of May you guys I told you I was gonna come up with one so here it is so uh, let me jump right on into it I'm gonna turn the lights on you guys so you can see everything but uh yeah so here we go alright you guys so what you're seeing right now is two um, LG 27 inch Flitron monitors now uh, I had the one, which is right over here, the one on the right, and then I just got this one on the left here. Um, the each monitor is three hundred dollars. Uh, just so if anyone's wondering what the price ranges are um, on my setup. So uh, here we go. Let's we'll skip forward. Um, I have a Razer Sidewinder keyboard, which I got about a year ago along with my PC. So this whole entire setup is about a year old now. Um, this monitor is brand new though. And uh, this desk is new. Um, you guys probably didn't see that last time. I updated my desk. And I also have LEDs underneath my desk. So uh, it looks pretty sick in my opinion. Um, right there we have my new mouse pad. Um, that's completely new. Had an old one. Didn't really like it so I updated it. So uh, about these LEDs I really want to show you guys this. Um, I turned the lights off so... Um, you're not going to see the full effects, but uh, pretty much what I have here is the remote for the LEDs. So you guys can quite see there's a multiple colors you can do. So uh, here's red. It looks probably appearing orange on the camera, but you can go green. You can do any of these colors. It's I mean, it's completely up to you. So if you want to do orange, yellow, and lighter blue, whatever. I mean, it's up to you guys. Pink. And then what else is really cool here, let me go back to blue, is you can set it to um, flash or fade, which it does like all these multiple colors, or you can just have it fade. Right now it's set to red, but if you wanted it to fade in blue, select blue and then just click fade and it'll do that nice little transition effect. It looks really sick with the lights off. Here, I'll turn it off just for a second. There you go with the lights off. And you can kind of see the LEDs underneath there, um, but you got to remember that uh, I'm sitting down in a chair right now, so you're not going to be able to see those at all. But uh, that's what the setup looks like with LEDs and with the Tron background. It looks pretty freaking amazing in my opinion. And uh, there's the big beast, you guys. Um, you guys should be able to remember my big beast. I'll go back into it again. Um, it's an Antec case. It uh, has an Intel Core i7 processor. Um, with 3.5 gigahertz, it's a very beast PC. Um, it has blue LEDs, obviously. Um, the internals, I have a 64 gigabyte solid state drive, um, an extra one terabyte drive, and um, the motherboard is a Asus um, workstation motherboard. Now, you guys, this is not like any other motherboard. It is a workstation motherboard. So, a workstation motherboard is um, a motherboard that companies, manufacturers use for building like graphic design pro projects. Basically, companies that are using multiple programs to run at the same time. So what I'm trying to say here is that uh, motherboard in the my uh, computer is not to be taken lightly. It is a very heavy duty motherboard. Of course, it doesn't really matter what kind of motherboard you uh, have until you have like the processor, which is my i7 3.5 gigahertz. Um, which is what's you know powering everything, so that's what that is. Um, I'm trying to think here, what else is in there? Um, if I I can't really think of what kind of battery I have in there. It might be uh, no, I don't even know what kind of battery I have in there, so I'm not gonna go into that. Um, but yeah, I also have a side case um, that you can see through. Um, not on the right side, but on the left side. I'd uh, show that to you guys, but that's kind of in the way over there. So uh, that's that. Um, I have two Xbox controllers up there on top. Um, one is a silver, right there, it's the silver one. Um, the silver one is my modded controller I got from Mods Armory for $120. Uh, that Mods Armory controller is very nice. Um, it's modded, obviously. You can see the white thumbsticks and everything, and it also has a 12 mode rapid fire mod. The one above it is not modded, it is the standard black um, Xbox 360 controller mod. Or not mod, but just controller. And um, I just like to use that if I have friends over, or if I just don't, you know, feel like modding like certain games. I just don't want to worry about it. So that's that. Um, there's my cable management. You guys probably already saw that a little bit. Um, I'll work on making it neater a little bit later on. But uh, yeah, that's that. So um, 
that's the case. Uh, this computer with uh, this case and all the internals inside of it, plus just the one monitor, um, it cost me $2,200 to build. Uh, that was just uh, everything inside of that case and that one monitor. That's how much everything cost. So that's just for that. Um, this desk here is brand new desk. Um, I want to say it's like an uh, Edwardson or something like that. Um, I don't really know where I, what kind of desk it is. Um, but I purchased it just recently. I should know this. But yeah. Um, I got it at Staples. It's a very nice desk. So I recommend you guys go pick it up. Uh, sorry I can't really tell you uh, what kind of desk it is though. Um, right here we have my Steel Series mouse pad. I just got that. I ordered that in. Um, it came with my monitor right there. Um, and then next to that I have my Logitech uh, gaming mouse. It's a G500 series. And uh, what you guys didn't know before was um, I actually didn't install the software CD for it. Now I did. Um, just because I'm getting a little more into computer gaming. And I wasn't really worried about it last time. I was just kind of using it as a mouse. But now um, I have uh, DPI settings that I can adjust on the fly. Right now it's in mode 5. It's at the fastest DPI settings. So it's extremely fast. So if I were to go to that monitor, I'm already over there in the far corner. You guys didn't even see me go over there because it's so fast. I'm already over there. So uh, And then I also have uh, weights in the bottom of this mouse here. Right there. Um, and I take it out for you, but it's kind of hard to do with one hand. So, uh, yeah, I can exchange the weights in this thing. It's pretty cool. Um, and the scrollable wheel, you can adjust. So if you click this button, it spins for endlessly. So if you could, like, hook it up as, like, a mod or something, I'm assuming. I don't really know. Because I'm still not uh, too big of a uh, PC gamer. Um, if you guys want to leave a comment and tell me what kind of game I should get for this kind of a setup, please tell me. Um, I was thinking about going for three monitors, you guys, but uh, as you can see, this one desk is kind of full. So I'm going to probably have to get another desk if I do a third 27-inch monitor. And my graphics card can support it. I have an ATI Radon 6950 graphics card in my beast right there. So I can definitely support it. Um, I'm just trying to think if I'm going to have enough space in this small enclosed room of mine. So yeah, that's what I have uh, for that. Um, my LEDs I bought at Fry's Electronics, you guys. Uh, it's a store in Arizona here. Um, so yeah, there's that. I'm sure you guys can buy them anywhere. Um, they're just simple LEDs. So it's just two LED strips under there. Um, and then right here we have my 50-inch... Uh, TV, you guys, uh, you've seen it in my last video, hopefully, um, if not, um, there's my 50 inch for you guys, below it, I just have a whole bunch of boxes, I'm not going to get into that stuff, because you're not going to care about it, um, if you guys are wondering where my Xbox went, it is behind my TV now, because I ran out of space on my desk, currently that Xbox is hooked up to my 50 inch TV right there, um, I was going to run it over to this, but, uh, I just haven't got the time for it yet, and, uh, that headset is an Astro AX Pro's. Astro, right? Yeah, Astronaut Tritons. <laughs> Sorry, I used to have Tritons a long time ago, so I don't have those anymore. I have Astros now, way better. So I have Astros on there. They're the Black MLG Edition 2012, and I have the Mix Amp right there also. Um, it's the 5.1, I believe. So yeah, that's that. Um, what else have I not shown you guys? I mean, this is my bed, like normal. You guys have seen that before. And that would be my two posters that I just put up there, Underworld and Green Lantern. I'll be putting up a couple more. Um, I have a lot of posters over there in that corner. You probably can't really see, but I have quite a bit over there. So uh, for the programs that I run on this, you guys, um, just so you know for gaming, um, I have uh, Steam on here. Um, if you guys have any other recommendations for what programs or whatnot, please tell me. Leave it in the description, uh, or leave it in the comments, I mean. I mean, just help me out, because I'm still new to this whole computer gaming thing. Uh, I mean, I barely got this set up just to get going. Now it's set up, it's good to go. Um, it's right now it's running on a, uh, it's on the Catalyst Control Center. It's doing some YouTube videos and researching. And I figured out how to set up my displays and everything, so. Um, I believe it's set up on, like, iFinity or something. Um, most people say you should have three monitors for iFinity. I just did it with two, um... I mean, it is kind of annoying when you're watch, um, trying to play, like, a certain game. Like, I've tried some games, and, like, I mean, the middle of the screen is going to be right there where the two bezels are. But, uh, I mean, it's a little annoying, and yes, I know you really need a third monitor, but I'm not too worried about it right now. 
So I'm just, I mean, like, I really do graphic design stuff more than gaming, but I really want to get into gaming. So if you guys want to leave a comment, just, like, tell me what I should download for a good game or something. I mean, I know I'm saying this a lot, but I really want to, like, know what's good out there. I mean, I heard Diablo 3 was good. Um, I mean, just give me some ideas. Um, so, yeah. Uh, up here are my pro, or actually those aren't my programs, they're just my folders. Not too um, interesting. I got my movies, graphic design stuff, nothing you guys should really worry about. Um, I got Photoshop right here. It extends over to all my displays. Um, I really like this feature um, just because when I'm doing my graphic design stuff, I can see everything I'm doing. Right now, I'm currently going to be making a background for this display. I haven't really been working, working on it quite yet, but I'm going to quite um, pretty soon. Uh, I've got Adobe After Effects also, that's what I use to make my intros. Uh, if you watch this video, um, that intro in the beginning of the video was also made in After Effects. Um, thanks to a guy named Andrew Kramer, he uh, did a great uh, tutorial video on that. It's also where I learned how to do the um, all my intros, pretty much. So he's a great guy to uh, look up videos, you guys, if you want to look him up. His name is Andrew Kramer, he has his own website. I would definitely recommend uh, checking him out. So uh, this is pretty much all I have to show you guys off today. Um, sorry if my camera work wasn't too good, but uh, this is being recorded on my iPhone 4S. Uh, I've had it for about a year now. It's also pretty cool. Um, so this is my display. This is my room tour kind of thing. So uh, it's going over about 12 minutes. So I'm gonna try and end it. So uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, sorry for cutting it a little too long. Maybe you guys want to hear a little bit more. I don't know. Just uh, leave me some feedback, you guys, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my setup. So it's Oso Ninja X, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks.